So during my regular five month checkup, the doctor placed the Doppler on my rounded tummy and gently searched for the baby's heartbeat. And a few minutes passed and there weren't any sounds detected. I was watching intently for some cues as to what was going on, but the doctor's face was blank and the nurse was stoic and I just began to feel very scared and confused. The nurse probed with the sound device to secure a clear picture of what seemed like hours. Finally, I just broke the silence and I said, can I see the screen? What are you finding? Do you see a heartbeat? And then the ripping truth came. She said, I'm not picking up a heartbeat, Pam. There's no fetal movement. I think the baby is dead. That's all she said. And I thought, wait, what? How can this be? Everything has gone so well. I'm healthy. We have prayed for this baby. Why is this happening? The doctor explained that based on the measurements on the ultrasound screen that the baby was fully formed according to schedule and most likely died in the last few days. More information would be gleaned from pathology tests after labor and delivery. Well, several weeks after delivering our baby, I went back to swimming laps at our club, crying my way from one end of the pool to the other. My heart was broken. Postpartum hormones were just raging and I was overwhelmed with all of this emotion. And I began bombarding God with questions. I just didn't understand. Why didn't our baby live? Why are we the ones with empty arms? I thought everything worked together for good, but I don't see any good in any of this. God, I need perspective. And when I was done giving God a full earful, this picture of a book cover flashed onto the screen of my mind. And I sensed this compelling need to begin to write down what I was experiencing. Now, I'd never written a book before. I really didn't know much about the process. But I knew I had to start capturing my experience on paper. That was a key moment. Promptings like these are important. And it's important to pay attention to them and follow through, even if we don't know where that prompting is going to lead us. I spent two full days writing our story, crying my way through the process, and making a list of all the questions and struggles and concerns that we were experiencing. For several months, I talked with other moms who shared their experiences and stories of miscarriage, stillbirth, or tubal pregnancy. And when I told them that I was writing a book for those who lose babies, the response was always the same. You've got to get this book out. There's nothing out there that explains the physical and emotional and spiritual challenges that go with losing a baby. They said, people need hope and they need answers. After months of research, I wrote the first three chapters and a table of contents and simultaneously submitted it to several major trade book publishing companies. And much to my surprise, four publishers wanted it. So I signed a contract and a year later, the book was published. Since the book was released, I have received emails from women all over the world who have read Empty Arms during those dark and confusing months after a loss. They say things like, a friend gave me your book and when I started reading your story, I couldn't stop. I couldn't put the book down. Now see, what draws them into the book is not only my story, but the story of many other young moms and the things that happen to them and the things that they do. When we connect with the stories of those who have been where we are, we find hope and help with all these roller coaster emotions of guilt and fear and anger and despair. Sound scientific based explanations for pregnancy loss can also help just clear up those misconceptions and reassure us that we're not alone and we're not to blame. I believe healing happens when we know we're not alone, when our feelings are validated and we embrace our loss and little by little we just begin to let go of our pain. It comes as we sort through all of those thoughts and questions that we have and we give ourselves permission and grace in the grieving process. That's why I wrote Empty Arms. I want young moms and dads and those closest to them to have a safe place to process their pain, to get some questions answered, and to receive hope and healing. Thanks for taking time to hear my story and allow me to share my thoughts with you. If you know someone who has lost a baby, I hope Empty Arms will become a source of healing and encouragement to them.